ranked top 10 in one season. Was he? He was unranked the previous season. Oh. Top 10 now. Well then. And honestly, he's probably going to keep climbing at this rate because this man is still taking names oh, yeah. each and every Xanadu. And each and every like tournament he goes to, he does really well. Do you know if he's going to Frostbite? Yes, he is. Excellent. He was telling me about it. He has uh, JJ Rockets, Mr. E, and someone else in this pool. Someone oh, else really uh, good. Was it Apadongo, I think? I th it might have been. I'm not sure entirely. I think I remember seeing it on Twitter, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hard pool, but, you know, top three guys. Everyone's got a hard pool. Yeah. That's all good, man. Yeah. But now this bracket's looking kind of hard, too. We're progressing pretty deep in winner's quarters. Like, only 60 people today, so. And here comes Black Yoshi. What's the punish? Ooh. Chris, but no kill just yet. If he was like three inches more to the left, that would have been way harder. Or if he uh, went for up smash instead, that might have been closer to killing. Yeah. By the way, Black Yoshi is still definitely in the driver's seat. The Seal Joe didn't put on a seatbelt, <laughs> from what <laughs> it seems, because this man's getting driven across the stage and probably thrown out the windshield a couple times. It's not looking pretty so far. Yoshi's being absolutely dominant right now. See, we're trying to get something going there. Getting a few key nairs off. Yeah. And thanks to Rage, this is suddenly an even game. Rage, and also, this all started because Black Yoshi was feeling himself at the ledge and up smash. And now he has no safe control, and he's been, he's eaten like 70% because of that one missed week. You cannot give Seagull Joe an inch, because he'll take a mile and a half. Ooh, but yeah. The buck That'll stops do there. It there. <laughs> yeah. He forgot to check his watch. He didn't realize what time it was. Mm -hmm. It's always wish time somewhere in the world. <laughs> now let's see what Black Yoshi can... Wow, he almost wow. has He can almost lose a stock. <laughs> yeah. And, like, as bad as dying is in this game, there is something to be said about it, like, refreshing some of your moves. Because um, that wouldn't have killed if Seagull Joe, like, you know, was on the same positioning last stock because he juggled so much with it. Yes. So, like, something else to keep in mind when you die is just, like, how fresh some of your stuff is. Could make a difference. But Ooh, nice conversion wow. off that jumping uh, afterburner kick. Yeah. Cause just the SDI wasn't there that time by Joe. Or, honestly, it might have been, and Black Yoshi's just adapted to it. He's... Probably one of the better Bayonettas that I've seen, like, period, at adapting to those yeah, combos. If, if he DI'd a different way, you know, it might have been a different story. But uh, Bayonetta character where no matter where they DI, there's almost always a follow-up. Somewhere, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, even if it's not to the death like you wanted it to, uh, to the death like you wanted the combo to be, there's still always, almost always another attack you can throw out that will hit. Mm -hmm. Facts, my guy. Facts, facts, facts. So we're moving on. Seagull Joe going with his classic um, Bayonetta counter. He said to me uh, a couple times that he normally goes Diddy against most Bayonettas. He just feels like the match is better or like he's just more comfortable with it. But Black Yoshi is also really good at this matchup. I know in Sova they have a few very good Diddies. Um, Pape had a strong Diddy for a really long time. Uh, um, I believe Archie's down there. Yep, Archie's over there. Another really so solid Diddy. So it's not like, you know, he's when he comes up here, he plays like Pooty Tang a lot. So Yeah. So yeah. he's no stranger to Diddy Kong. Absolutely. So let's see. So far, Seagull Joe is keeping a lot more even than the first game started. Uh, Black Yoshi, it looks like today he's really feeling these wish times. And... Oh! oh. <laughs> he wish times <laughs> over the banana, and we saw the grab slow down. I think I was just like, I don't care, get over your bait now, and I just give her that big old hug <laughs> into a back throw. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. But Black Yoshi keeping that combo short, sweet, and to the point. Let's clean up that first stop. Even off of that, like, you know, kind of weird interaction with that witch time. <laughs> yeah, this is looking good for Joe right now, and this will be kind of an upset. I know that uh, Black Yoshi has beaten Joe before, but... But not this convincingly. Not this convincingly, that's the big thing. But you can't count Joe out just yet, especially when he has a banana in his hand. There we go. Let's click camp that stop. Nah, it doesn't get the cross up just right. And about the banana, uh, Black Yoshi's been very fixated on it in this match. Almost every time Seawood throws it out, he's, Black Yoshi's trying to get possession of it. 
Oh no. Okay, still alive. But honestly, it's because like Joe hasn't done enough to stop him. Just yet. Because like every time um, Black Ops is going for the banana, he's always either getting it, getting a wish time off of it, or maybe like eating one little grab off of it. So that time, like, he actually dies for it. But every other time before that, it's just been Black Yoshi essentially, you know, with his banana, not Joe's banana. Right. No, give him banana two down bees. Yeah. But here comes Joe, finally getting a lead. And this is where Diddy actually shines quite a bit. Just, like, getting those combos uh, early on, racking up that damage. It's kind of vortexing you to the point where, like, you lose any semblance of a lead that you had. Nice. Wow, that side B actually did like a lot more damage. Now that I looked at it closely, did like 10 to 11 damage off that. Wow. And Joe just cleaning He's this up so entirely. He's relentless trying to get the stock. That was a nice way on the air dodge. Might be stocked. No, going to be able to fall out of those afterburner kicks. Yeah, if he had went for it up air on the first one. Oh, no. Oh, my lordy. <laughs> Black Yoshi's face <laughs> yeah. give me life. That's face everyone's got at home right now. But he is going to fall out of the up smash. Yep. Jumping away from the up air. This is becoming such a close game. Wow. Oh, my golly. And somehow, Seagull Joe manages to get through all of that and dies off a back throw? <laughs> off a back, back throw. Off a back throw? Stage. You got to love those intense matches that are, killed, that are ended with kill throws. <laughs> got to love them. I mean, I guess he caught, or I guess uh, Joe caught, like, Yoshi's DI slipping because, like, it didn't look like it was going to kill. And honestly, like, when you were thinking about 15 other things, and probably, to be real, 10 of them were, how did my up smash whiff <laughs> when <laughs> Diddy Kong's standing right next to me? You know, I can't really blame him for, like, you know, slipping up on that DI a little bit. But we got the runbacks going back to Town and City. Uh, both these players are really comfortable on the stage, and uh, I've honestly, I think these characters do really well in this matchup on the stage, so... Yeah. Oh, dang. I like that down air uh, attempt. Yeah, you see Captain Zack go for that a lot. It's actually really optimal, um, like, if they're facing outwards on, like, shorter side blast zone saves like Smashville, because they can kill super early if oh, you catch yeah. them. And Black Yoshi getting uh, big damage off his combos and smartly retreating to the ledge. A lot of other times we saw him just, like, kind of land on Joe or just, like, either switch time to um, try and cancel out that lag. So I like how he's mixing it up as uh, the set progresses. Joe doing a lot better so far, has made the necessary adjustments to keep this match a lot closer. Nice. And even though he with that witch time, he'd still set him up for a perfect position to get hit wow. that banana and get a kill confirm off that. Black Yoshi, he knows how to play with his items recently, I've been noticing, and it's been looking really good for him. I do believe he has uh, gone into the lab and see, to see how he can follow up on banana throws. Mm -hmm. It's really something, smart. Something not enough people do. Yeah, especially like such a relevant matchup like Diddy Kong. Like, he's probably one of the more common characters that you see at like, high level, mid level. Like, the characters are strong across yeah, the Yeah, like, board. if you go to a tournament, you know, you're probably going to be playing up Diddy if you keep playing. Mm -hmm. At some point. Unless you enter a tournament in Japan, they don't believe in Diddy Kong. I'm, they have like Newtono and does Rain still play Diddy? I don't think he does. I think Newtono's the only one. Oh, yeah. Just saying because I remember the tournament Nairo went to, like, there was no Diddy until like 64. Oh. I mean, they were still up there though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there still was a Diddy. Yeah. And there's still a Diddy on the screen. Sequel Joe cleaning up that stock and now... Like, it looks a little bad, but, you know, we saw Sequel Joe, like, Tackle on 40, 50 percent before Black Yoshi could even do anything last stock. So it really, it's really going to come down to uh, how Seagull plays his neutral. We know Bayonetta has uh, one of the weaker neutrals of top tiers. Mm -hmm. Well, quote unquote weaker, you can say. Of top tiers, I'll yeah, definitely agree with that. Oh no! Oh my lord! Oh no! Black Yoshi, not like that. You're like that two is heartbreaking. <laughs> he was Man. two centimeters to the left too far. Oh <laughs> and that my sucked. god! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> yeah, Black Yoshi. <laughs>